Ulysses stands for the UV Legacy Library of Young Stars as Essential Standards. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful, but what it means is it's a very large program that took about a thousand orbits of Hubble time to complete. Um, that's the equivalent of about 63 days. Um, and the program um, observed uh, over 200 stars um, in the Milky Way, our own galaxy, but also in nearby galaxies that are deficient in heavy elements. Um, the program really had two components. Uh, one was focused on those very hot, blue and short-lived massive stars that have you know, masses of 10 times the mass of the sun or more and are maybe a million times brighter or more. Um, and the other component of the program was low mass stars that are still in the process of forming, still gathering masses, uh, mass from um, a, a disk that is surrounding them in which planets may be forming as well. Uh, and in their early years, uh, while they're still forming, those low mass stars produce a lot of ultraviolet light uh, because the, the mass is gathering crashes onto the surface of the stars, which is a very energetic process. And so the goal of Ulysses is to try to understand, first of all, those stars, the massive ones, the low mass ones that are still young and forming, but also how they impact uh, their surroundings. So for the very massive stars, they have powerful winds that can disrupt their host galaxies by pushing gas and dust out or even exploding a supernova and um, injecting a tremendous amount of energy into the interstellar medium. And then for the low mass stars, it's this very energetic uh, ultraviolet light that is emitted by the, the accretion of mass onto the star that is uh, feeding back into the planet forming disks around them uh, and affecting how these disks evolve, the chemistry in them, or even the habitability of planets uh, that may be forming in those disks.